So we are starting grid. Now, we have, um, I've explained what Flexbox is. So now I'm going to give you some high level of um, grid. Now, when, when, when we see a website, right, you will see your menu somewhere here. You can see a picture somewhere, somewhere right here. You, you can see co content right here. And you can see another pic, uh, picture or an image somewhere there, uh, some content there and so on and so forth. <clears throat> now we call this layout. So if we, we, can, we can divide this into into different parts. Oh. You can see this is, excuse me, this. You can see this is one, one section. I can see this is under section and this under section, this under section. So this is layout. And um, I'm not sure. Okay, hold on, please. Let me see whether I can get a website. I cannot remember the the title of that website any longer. Uh, let me see. Where's my bookmarks? <coughs> Bookmark manage. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Let's see this one. Okay. Let me see this. Okay. Let me even use the. No, I said. We are going to design this page. I remember I said this. Okay, good. Let me use this one as an example. Now, look at, just look at this page. Um, I can divide this page, you know, kind of um, do some dissection on it. I can see this is a section on the zone. This one too is an, another section. And I can see this one is an, another section. And this one is another section. I can divide this into two like, like so. So you can see that this this website can be can be designed easily using the grid and the question is that begs the question what is grid now grid is is just let me clear this one is is just um a collection of columns, columns and rows. Grid is a collection of columns and rows, like so. 
Now, I can now decide to make this as a section. So th that simply means that I'm going to erase this out, all these lines dividing that side. I'm going to clean out the, this and make it just a section. Then if I de so desire, I can make, make this a section too. That means I'm going to delete all these lines dividing it. Similarly, can make this one to a section, divide, delete all these lines in it. So I can make this one, group them together, right? Then I can decide to de then delete all these lines, all these grid lines, delete everything. Then I can make this two also, then delete all these lines, right? Then this one too. So if, if I'm to redraw this now, this design I just did, if I'm to redraw it, I will have something like this. I will have something like this using after using grid and it's so it's very easy is easier to use grid um to do your layout now the question is i i, I remember that uh, ah, you you taught us flexbox that flexbox is also good for layout yes one thing I want you to understand is that Flexbox is one dimensional. It's one dimensional. While grid, grid is two dimensions. What, what do I mean by dimension? Dimension tells you about the direction um, a quantity can go. For example, flex box can either go horizontally, which if you can recollect is row, or vertically, which you can remember that the flex direction is column. So this is one direction. This is under one direction. Flex boss cannot go both ways at the same time. You cannot have flex boss going this way and this way at the same time. Now you will say, but we used overflow to have something of this nature when we were dealing with Flexbox. Yes, but this one is still one item, one item in a straight line, right? It's still one item in a, in a, in a straight line going in this direction, but because the width, the, the viewport, the, the viewport width, is reduced that is why these three fell into the next line like what we have here but it is still one dimension however when when we are talking about grid grid is two is two is two dimension right it can go go in the along the x axis and the y axis as you can see from from this little, little demo, the demonstration here you can see that this uh, i can 
go along this way and I can go along this way. That is why some I can do something of this nature in greed. So, what am I saying in, invariably is that in Flexbox, you can, you can either have row or column. You can have both at the same time. But in the case of um, grid, you can have both column. This is one, one column, this is another column, this is another column. And you can have rows as well. One row, two rows, three rows, third, uh, the fourth row. Is there any question in, in, on what I have said so far? No, sir. Good. No, sir. Now, if I if I go back to what I was trying to describe here on that GT site, you can see that I've been able to uh, use grid to sectionalize this page already. Now the question is, why do we need Flexbox? Since I can also use grid in my layout. Very simple question to answer. Now look at this. I've divided this. Let, let me just break this down into, into the grid system. This is one. Two, three rows, and that. Now, I, I, this is grid, but the content within this this section, I can use flexbox. This is one flex item. This is another flex item. So which simply means that I can write a flex box inside a grid item. So this one now is my flex in the column direction. Similarly, this one is also flex items. I can use flex for this, right? This one now is a flex item in the what row direction. Similarly, this one, row direction is flex. I can use flex for that. This Similarly, this one, I can use flex for it. This is one uh, flex item. This is another flex item. So this is column. This one is just one item because it's an image. So one item here. Yeah? Because that's just an image. And this one too is two flex items. So column two. So you can see that you can you can use flexbox inside inside a grid. And similarly, you can use grid inside a flexbox. And that is what this is trying to explain here. This, this is a grid system. This one, this one, this one. But you can see that there's what flex flex box. There's flex box. There's flex item, flex item, flex item. So flex box within this grid item. The same thing. I this 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 is flex. Flex item, flex item, flex item because they are arranged in a in the row direction, but I can have grids inside a flex a flex item. So you will find yourself um incorporating flex box in inside a grid or incorporating grid inside a flex box. So depending on the design depending on the an analysis right of the page you can choose whatever way whatever form you so desired 
Is there any question before I go further? No, sir. No. Okay. Now, let us go to the to the code. Let's go to the code. Let me clear any any uh, right up on my page. So now let's see what what we can do with flexbox. That's what we agreed. Just like flexbox, we have what we have the container, the grid container, and the grid items. It's just is similar to flexbox, right? And there are properties meant to be written inside a a grid container for example this this uh, properties it should go into if a grid container however these other ones grid items these are properties that should go into a grid item so i hope there's no confusion about grid container, grid item. It's just the way we have flex, flex container and flex items. I hope you are, you are following. So now let me go to the browser. I, I've created this one in the past. Let me, let, let me try to okay let me just try to delete but if i do this i'll be typing it all over again i'll be typing all over again which i do not want to do because of time let me run this and see what i can comment out at the for the moment so that you can learn from from it okay so let me remove this comment out all this inside this grid container okay now we have these items remember i have container and i have grid items i used the color of a rainbow first roy give red orange yellow green blue indigo violet then I just added this too. So now, this is the normal behavior of HTML elements. Am I right or wrong? Right. Am I right or wrong? You're right, sir. Good. Now, <clears throat> if we want to use grid, this container right this div container we are going to write a selector for it dot container which is what i have at the top here so the first thing i do is to make the display grid if we go back to the browser oh okay let me remove all this styling first. Let me just remove everything. Remove this one too. Undo. Okay, is there any? No, none. Okay, so now we have that. Yes, okay. Okay, all these ones are commented out. Good. So now we have made the container grid, but you 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 will notice that there's no no difference, so to say, and the reason is very simple. We are yet to give um uh, to divide it into columns and rows. If you recollect, as I explained earlier on, grid is what the collection of columns and 
rows, just like a table. So, but this is far more powerful than a table. Why? Because it is responsive in design. So, now, let us see how many items do, do I have here. I have um, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine items. So if I want to divide these nine items in, into three columns and three rows, so that I will have something of this nature. So I will need to, to divide this container into three columns and what three rows. So the question is, how can I achieve that goal? Simple. I'm going to use one of the properties of the grid container, which is grid template column, this one, and grid template rows to divide my content. So if I go back to the, the visual code, and I, let me comment out this one now. But for now, I'm going to put this one out. And I'm going to divide, just give this guy, um, let me say 300 pixel, 300 pixel, and 300 pixel. What am I doing? I'm saying that first column should, should be 300 pixels. The second column should be 300 pixels. And the third column should be what? Also 300 pixels. If I go back to my code, you will see that now I have 300 pixels. Column three from year to year, 300 pixels. And from year to year, 300 pixels. Now, I purposely leave this one in there, the border, so that you will see where the container uh, occupies. This is the entire width of the container. And you you, you can bear with, with me that uh, we still have extra space in there. Now, you'll be wondering, I only define column, but I did not define, I'm yet to define the row. And yet I can see one, two, three rows already. Yes, the simple reason is because I have instructed the, um, the browser to break this container into three columns. And therefore you need to fit in those items each inside this column. The remaining one automatically will flow to the next line. And that is the difference between grid and flexbox. Adibin is flexbox. Flexbox in the row direction will try to occupy this row until it gets to the maximum. And if we do not specify flex wrap, it will overflow. It will go beyond this border. But in grid, it will, once you have the three rows, it will automatically go to the next one. If I decide to give, make it four rows, you will see what happens. Four. Let me put the third one in there. You will see it will give, uh, give me four rows and one the last one see occupying the third row if i make it one more you can see now it has turned to three rows is there any question on grid template column any question no sir okay now Let's go on. If I now comment out this, there won't be any difference, so to say, 
except that it will try to create the third row. Right? Let's see what happens. You can see it tries to create the third row right here. And why uh, the you can see that this is 200 pixels I specified there. So from here, from this point, that is not, from this point to this level is 200. From here to this point is 200. And from this point to this point is 200. However, from here to here is 300. Similarly, from here to here is 300. Any question? No, sir. Good. Now, look at something. I try to reduce the viewport width, and you can see that I cannot see some, some grid items. Why is that so? When I, when I said initially that grid makes your layout responsive, but this one is not responsive. I, I, I will need to use my scroll bar to view, and you can see that there's overflow. The items, are, um, the items have gone beyond this, this border, this container border. So the question is, why? This, this is very simple. It is because we gave it a pixel value, which does not respond to the viewport. And that is the more reason. Let me just make this e e three columns and three rows. So now, if I go back to the browser, yes, it, everything will appear now because I've um, kind of um, reduced the width. Now, I have three rows and three columns. But you can see that I still have space here. If I want this um, grid to be responsive, all I need to do is to give it a fractional unit. And how do we do that? I can simply do one fraction, one fraction, and one fraction. If I go back, you will see that it has automatically occupied the entire width of the container. So if I minimize or reduce the viewport, you will see that it is now responsive to my viewport. Very responsive. And that is why, that, 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 this is where the, um, beauty of um, grid lights just like flexbox they are very very responsive in design now that is that about um the fractional units now if i if i have um If I need to state um, seven, seven, no, let, let me count. I think it's nine. It's, yeah, nine. If I, if I need to state nine, nine columns, am I going to start typing one FR, one, uh, one FR, and so on and so forth, just repeating myself nine times? It will be tiring. So, and that is the reason why there is another um, value called repeat, this function, repeat. Inside this, I will state how many times I need to repeat then the, the value of what, I, um, the, yes, the units of what I want to achieve. So if I say nine, then I say one FR, right? Let me see what we have. So you can see that automatically it has divided this into nine. 
columns one two three four five six seven eight and nine and everything is still what responsive you can see it's responsive so now I do not need to be repeating myself, right? If I need to repeat um, certain, uh, what's it called, um, unit, all I need is just to use the repeat function. The repeat function will um, kind of um, disallow me from writing code multiple times, and most especially when the values are the same. Why, do, why must I write one F out nine times? No. So the repeat um, function is there to use. Is there any question on that? Is there any question on that? No, sir. No, sir. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Now let's go on. Let's say, um, let's say I I'm, I'm going to put it back to three columns. Right, and um, where is it? So uh, we have that back right now. Let's say I want to gap this guy up, I want to put a gap in between this, just like flex box. I can do same. All I need to do is to use this gap, this gap property, right? On the um on the um, grid container. So column gap, column gap will give me gap in between the, in between the what columns, column, column gap. Let's say I want 10 pixel space in between there. If I go back to the browser, you will see that gap, 10, 10 pixel. I did not state any row gap and that is why there's no gap in between the rows if you go back you will see row gap here now let's you apply that row gap in the row gap 10 pixel as well now you will see the gap in between both the rows and the column there's a short and for this, which is the gap, this gap itself. This gap is a short and for this two. White grid templates is a short and for this two, the column and the row. So if I, instead of me writing two properties, all I need to do is just write one property gap. Okay, before I do that, let me remove this so that you, you will see that it is not because I have that in there. So let's uh, browse. Yes, yeah, you can see the gap is gone. So let's go back here and I put my gap in there. I say 10 pixel. So I have my gap both in between the rows and the columns. Is there any question? Is there any question? No, sir. No question. So now I'm, I will go back to this grid template here. I said the grid template is what? The short uh, and for both this grid template column and grid template row. I think it should be somewhere here. Aha, yes. You can see the value. You state the row first, then the um, column next. So let's go back and do something. Instead of me doing this, right, I can state that grid template, grid dash template, this one. So this is row. I can put my row here. I'm, I'm not going to repeat myself too already, but I'll just use the repeat. Function three times and 200 pixel. Then I will do slash repeat, then the fraction. 
So I'm going to delay this out. So if I run, go back, you see nothing changes. So to, to recap, to divide your grid into columns, you use your grid template columns. To divide into rows, you use your grid template rows. And the shorthand for these two properties is the grid template as shown here. So you can see that the value, the first value there is the grid template rows forward slash the, the grid template columns. And now, similarly, if you want um, a gap in between the columns, you can use just column, column gap. And at the same time, if you want gap in between the rows, you can use the row gap property. And the gap is a shorthand for these two properties. Is there any question? Is there any question? No, sir. No question. All right. So I'm going to pause here on grid today because I want to um, quickly go into the Zoom assignment I give you guys way back. But I'm surprised that um, some people have left. It's so surprising. Why? Have, why? So I'm going to pause here on grid. So we we'll continue on the uh, other properties in the next class. So is there any, any question on grid before I switch on to the um on that as to the assignment? Is there any question? No, sir. All right. Thank you so much. So now I'm going to close this um, browser. I don't need this one again for today. I don't need even need. Okay. Let me just minimize this one. So the Zoom. Mm -hmm. Let me see, is it this one? Let me see this one. Yes. That one. So let's discuss this Zoom. I'm going to remove this tile, everything in here. I'm going to paste it here, comment it out. So now, let's let's check. Oh, okay. I use image here. No, I don't want to use image. I'm I'm not going to use any image here. I use image there. Well, let me see. I think there's one without image. Okay, I used image there. Mm, okay. So I'm would I'm just going to use um instead of image, I'm going to use let me even check check out the um the what's it called the uh, somebody is fair of sir, I could not I I I could did my own work, but it was the I don't understand this English. I could did my own work. No, no, something's wrong. Maybe she missed something there. I could not do my okay. I did or I did my own work, but it was deleted due to okay. My the storage is filled up, so the it has to be deleted. Okay, that's fine. No problem. We are we are trying to start uh, um, start from scratch. I'm trying to bring out where I I think I.
Okay, still down there. Let me go back. I think I sent it to the class one way back. Zoom, 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 zoom. Hmm. Wow. This must have been a very long time I shared this thing. Interesting. Aha, this one. So let me just, let me just snip it again. I'll just have a copy somewhere. This is all I need. All right, so let me go back to the code. How many in the class now? Six. Okay, we are back to six. One person is missing, but I saw seven before. So now, this is the design that we are trying to get. So this is zoom, then blah, blah, blah. Now, let us go back to the come on now yes i'm going to remove this image i don't want to use image so that i won't confuse anyone um p element let me just use the p element zoom now i have let's do some Little to analysis on this. Now, look at this. I can, you can see that um, everything is centered, is centered, and I can say this is one flex item, and I can also say this is another flex item, right? So that means that this is my container. I can say this is a div, right? A container, which is a container. Then I will have this flex item one and flex item two. Now in my code, I, I have decided to make this flex item a P element. And because I can see that this, this um, Plus item two has all that thing inside it. I can make this one um, a form if I want to. Anyway, right? It's a con it can be a container also. Then inside this form, this one will now be another container, another flex container, which will now house one flex item the second flex item, the third flex item. And I can decide not to use form. I can decide to use div also, right? Then I can decide, to, since I'm using div, I, I, yeah, I can easily even use input elements here because it can still work on within a div, but I, I can decide to use a P element, a P element, and a p element right so i can decide to do to do anything i so, i so desire so now let me let me quickly go back to the code so having analyzed that one so this is my container right i have uh, my i think i'm forgetting the um version store underneath this is the version now I don't forget. Like you didn't it. analyze it to be a flex item. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But at least you 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 know that um it should be a flex item. Yes, sir. Aha, uh, uh -huh, good. So I'm going to change this one. I, I don't want to use form. I can use I can leave it as form, 
no problem. But um, since I am not doing any anything from related, so I can decide to use div. So I put this one also as div, yeah. And I can put, I will now put this one inside this join me join meeting. Put it inside, put it, create a P element there. Create a P element. Then sign out. element also and sign in the element also so let us go is there any question on what i just did now any question no. joshua any question let me see my audience joshua any question Joshua, any question? Oh, okay, he's gone. Uh, Ademola, any question? No, sir. Okay, Miri, any question? No, sir. Feromi, any question? No, sir. All right, thank you. So let's let let me quickly go back to the browser and see what I have in there. No, this is not my browser. Uh, sorry, it is my browser actually. But it's not. Okay, uh, let, me... Yeah. let me run it again. So, um, yeah. so now I have, Zo what is this one doing here? Let me see, I think I've left out something which I didn't delete. Yes, this one should not be there. Um, so I can hear me. Yes, I can hear you. Uh, I don't know what happened. My computer just locked me out, or uh, I don't know. It's your network. It's your network. My network. Yes, it's I a network. Think... Because everybody is there. So let's let, let let's continue. Don't worry. So since since you are here, just follow on. I was asking you, do you have any question on this HTML structure before um, we go? On? No, no, okay. I don't have a question. Okay, good. So now. This is the output, right? So now, the first thing first I need to do is to make this guy a, 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 give it a property of what? Display flex. And that is what I did here. Let me just, okay, let me just come here. Do another one. Dot. Let me copy it so that I won't make any typo dot that so sorry for, for, for that um, silence there now all I need to do is display Give it what flex. Let's see what happened after I've done that. Hmm. Everything has gone a wire scattered, right? So this one should should have gone right in there, and this one should have gone to the last, right? But don't let that trip you off. So now that we have our flex flex um, value for this outer container. So the next question is, if you look at what we have here, you will see that is in the column direction. Flex item one for now, two, and three column right so let's go there and make that one 
Reflex direction column. Column. Yes. So now it's now going back to how it was initially. But one thing I want you to know now is that this is one flex item. This three for now is one flex item and this one is another flex item. Item, yes. Good. So I want you to understand what I'm doing. So this Items, no, sorry, this um, key element, they are still following the normal flow of elements. Flow to the left and stack over each other. But this one is out of that flow. This one now is now flex item, flex item, and flex item. Now, if I want to push this guy, everything here, to the center, what do I do? What should I do? I want you, I want answers from you. What should I do? Joshua, what should I do? Israel is back. Okay. Joshua, what should I do? Tell me. Talk to me. Okay. Ademola, what should I do? So I wasn't in the class when you were telling us what to do because of my internet. Okay, you were not in the class today or when? No, I was in the class today. I mean, like, I just, like, disconnected and now I'm reconnecting again. Oh, okay. So my question is, you know, I, I have made the container flex a container, right? And this is one item and this is another item and this is this is this one is another item so my question is i want to bring this guy everything here to the center here how do i go about it what should i do text align center text align center i want you to use um okay text align center okay let me go with you i will flow with you Test align center on which of the elements? On, uh, you can just go in the outer container. Thanks. Okay, test test align center. Let's go. Yes, it's right there. So now the next thing is that I want to make this guy to be at the center here. So how do I go about it? You could use padding top. Uh nah. If I use padding top, I I'll I be I I I'll be doing guest work. Guest work in the sense that I'll be playing around with, with the values. And even after playing around with the values, I may not get it right at the center, the exact center. No, unlike this one now, unlike test and I center, it just brings it to the center. So how do I now bring this guy here, right here? Because if you look at our design, it's at the center. Everything is at the center. So how do I achieve that? Anyone? Justify context. Justify content. Okay, let's see. Justify content. Justify content. The value is center, right? So let's check. Yes. So we are checking now. You can see it's not giving us anything here. I have my uh, justify content center right and um, it's not moving to the center mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Also, align con- I'm sorry, align items. Align items. Where? I should type align items. Like this? Yes, sir. And I put it at center. Center. Yes, sir. Okay, let's see. What's going on? It's not moving to the center. Airline contents. Oh. Let's see something. Let's delete this guy out. Hmm. It's still not going to the center. Why? So can we use a uh, no, uh, margin zero or two or something? Margin zero or two. Yeah, so it, it, it margin, still, margin auto. Margin yeah, auto. Margin auto will still bring to the to, to the center here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It will not bring it here. Wow. So let me re- return the test align. So that these two also will be aligned at the center. Who can talk to me? Okay, let me let me help you out. Now, you please don't forget. Peromi did something in the last class, which I appreciated. She said, Sir, can you put in border so that we see what we are doing? And that is very, very important. Now look at it. How can we push this guy to the center when the height of the box is all, is just here? It will never go beyond this. Already, is it is at the center horizontally of this container and also vertically. Look at it. It's at the center. Something is missing. What should we do? Increase the height of the volume. Yes, we have to increase the height. Now, that begs the next question. Increase the height to what value? V is um, 100 V8, I guess. Yes. Like... Yes, the 100 viewport height. So, height. 100 viewport heights. Now we have that height. So you can see now it is at the center. So, so um, yes. What's the difference between. Let me go first. Uh, hold on, hold on. Um, David, go on first. Okay, like what's the difference between 100 viewport height and 100 percent? Because some of us we use percentage, I don't know. Okay, let's do percentage. Right? And see, under percentage. Huh? That's under percentage. Wow. I will come back to you, David. Um Demola. What do you so ask? If you made the the items in the border up to this to work. The items within the border. Yeah, if you made it up to it, would it work with um if I made without it what? up to it, like position up to you are breaking, I can't say you very well. I said if you I make can't... you are still breaking. Oh, is it is it only me? Um, David, is it breaking? Or not? Yes, sir, it's breaking. His voice is breaking, actually. Aha, uh-huh, okay. So, could you please repeat, repeat it, please? If you use position absolute with items in the box, would it still work? Ah, uh, no. It will work. It will work, but you are you have to do some more. Um, you have to uh, uh, tweak some more properties and values before you get it. And even at the end, it may not be responsive. 
it may not be responsive very well. On like this one right now, you can see if I squish it up or is it squash, you can see it's responsive. But using position absolute mm, layout, no, I won't advise that layout. But after doing your layout, within those lay within each of the boxes, yes, you can now use relative positioning to now arrange within the boxes. Yes. That is fine. So back to, uh, have I answered you, Demola? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Back to David. David said 100%. Remember, 100% of what? Okay. Yes. So this one is saying 100% of zero. Is is zero. I get it now. Aha. So, but if, when you use VH, you are saying 100% of the viewport. Now, look at this. Um, let me annotate here. Look at this space here. This is called default margin applied by my browser. You can see that it is all sides. Even if I scroll, push this, you, you can see, see it down there. You can see, see it right there. So this is the default behavior of some browsers. The, 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 it brings in um, some level of margin. If I go to the back end, let me, let me inspect this. If you inspect this, go to the back end, you will see it right here. Look at it here. If I come here, you should see some, you know, um, no, 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 this one here. You can see, look at that, br that is it brown color? Or it's, it's, yeah, it's a shade of brown anyway. Right, you can see if I click on it, you can see. Look at look at here, there's a default value of eight pixel margin. Right, this is eight pixel margin. And where is this this tie? Now I see try to understand the um back end. Now, where is this tie coming from? It, it says user agent style sheet. User agent is the browser. So this is coming from my browser. I can click, click here and turn it to zero. It should go. You can see the top, the top is gone. This one to zero. The, the right is gone. This one to zero. Gone as well. Zero. Gone as well. And that is the reason if I go back to my full that, that's the reason why we do CSS resets. That is why I did this one, body, margin zero, padding zero. But for you to reset everything, it's better to use a Y card for everything. Margin, zero, then padding, zero. So if I go back, yes, now there's no space whatsoever and everything is still at the center. Is there any question? Yes, I will so that we will continue this in the next slide because of our time. Is there any question? Joshua, any question? Ferrum, any question? Yes, sir. All right. So now let's go on. I, the um earlier on I said this is a con this this is a flex item within this container. This is a flex item. This is also a flex item, right? So I now look at this. This one to has items within it, right? So I'm going to make this also a container, right? And I will make it 
column container. So if I go back to my uh, to my code, this is a this this one I can call it say class inner container. So I'm going to make this one to a flex. Display flex direction also column. So go back, you see no difference because already these items they are the they are p elements and by nature they follow each other. Is there any question on what I've just done? No, so. Okay, good. All right, so let's go on. We still have uh, about a few, few more minutes. So now, first, let us make this background. Let's get this background out, this blue background, this one. Right? So what I will do is, I, I think I, 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 I shared... The color then. Let me see. I hope I've not gone away from it. Yes, this one. So the background color of um, this. So let me just take this out. Copy. Go to my code. So I'm go going come. I will come here into this container background color. I will do that. So let's go to the browser. So we have that. Is there any question on what I just did? No, sir. no question. Good. Let's go on. Now, this other container, its background is white. So let's go to that container and make and turn it back to white, this one. So I'm going to do background color white is there any question any question mm. no all right mm -hmm. good now let's go back to the model which is this one here the zoom character right is kind of bigger in size than any one of them so let's make this one let's increase the size of this Right at the same time, we try to make this one much bigger. So let's go back. Um, in this one, right, I can do uh, what's it called? Um, hold on, please. Right. So now. Um, let me see. Okay, we want to target this zoom, right? And um, it, it is better I give it um, a class so that I can target it easily of zoom. Then I will um, Target all these ones since I I want the all these ones to be the same size, so I can target all the P's under this right. So the container, and the P. The P. All the P's that are descendants of uh, that class. Let me see font size. Say 1.5 REM first. Let's see. Okay, it's increased, but let's increase a little more. So let's see. One point, I think 1.5 is okay. Let me compare it with this. 
I think it's okay. Let me see. Let me see again. Yeah, I think it's okay. It's, it's, it's big enough. So let's do the rest. Now, um, where is the, okay, yes. No, now I'm going to target this this guy. Does zoom, right? Does zoom. So I have font size of one point one point eight REA. What? Oh, lowercase. Okay, let me take it, let me crank it up a bit. Two. Okay, I think that's fine. And this other one, let me let's check it relative to the other. It should be smaller in in size. So, so let us reduce the size of that one. And that one is right in here, which is um let's just give it um, a class of footer. So I'm going to do dot footer there. And font size of say one REM. Let's see what that will give us. Okay, let's go a little bit down 0 0.8. Okay, oh, 0 0.9. Okay, that's better. So, is there any question in what I, I have, I have done so far? No, sir. No. Okay. No, sir. I think it is safe for us to continue here next week. On next, next week on Tuesday. Because yes, I don't sir. want to get you to in, into the into the night because it is already nine minutes to nine. But is there any questions so far? No, sir. Okay. Um no, sir. Joshua, any question? Joshua, any question? No, sir. Tell me any question. No, sir. No, okay. All right. So now, I want to give you a little, is a little assignment. And the assignment is just um, very, it's not for you to implement. I want you to look at this um, chessboard. This chessboard. Don't don't worry yourself about the the numbers and alphabet, right? The aim is this squares. Right, you can make it green, white, uh, green and white as shown, or you make it white and black, as the case may be. But I want you to analyze this because you are still going to implement it. You are going to implement it. I'm giving you as as of now. So analyze this guy on how you can reproduce. Okay, I'm changing my mind. I want you to design this and implement it. Let me see what you can... Let, let me test your capacity. So, let me, let, let me just uh, snip it out so that you understand what I'm talking my, my focus. I don't, I, I don't care about the... I don't care about the alphabet and numbers. This is my focus here. This one. So you you notice that that uh, there are how many squares? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And 
that is that means eight rows and we have also eight columns so One. i have a question so, uh, uh, yeah because altogether these boxes are 64 yeah like, is it possible to like type out maybe two divs and then it's automatically repeat itself in the css i will not answer that question because that is uh, me indirectly doing it for you oh right okay yes i want you to go and do the analysis yourself assuming no one is there ask yourself how am i going to approach this right so it is that thought and how you want to implement it that is what i am interested in so if you ask me that question now and i answer and i and i answer that question it's like me guiding you in your thought line hmm? yeah, all right sir. One uh -huh. more thing, sir. okay are we also going to make it responsive because it might yes responsive yes because we are we are now heading towards building a real website okay. we are going towards that so don't make a, don't build any page for me that is not responsive please uh -huh. and remember i told you guys a Okay, do let me close it. I'm still going to. Let me. Okay, let me just uh, send it now, so that um, it won't go away. Mm -hmm. Remember, I, I I I told you guys that you are going to design this page for me. This 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 page. This landing page. You are still going to do it. You are still going to do it. So don't worry. Because you are still going to do it. Just this. I don't care. Don't, don't, don't worry about all this, all this one. No. All I want is this. Look at just this design as you are seeing it. Bring it out. So, and, and I said that this will be after the grid class. After the Greek class, this is what you are going to do. So I'm giving you heads up now. It it it, it is it is a live site. You can go there, www.gtbank.com. or you can even go to uh back. Is it, is it Barclay? I'm not. I'm not sure. Is it Barclay? Uh, what what is when that Barclay again? Aha, Barclay. Let's see. Let me see. Let me see Barclays Bank. Okay, this is. Okay, this is not. Too, this is very simple sites. This page, just this page. Just this page, is is simple. It's, this is not complex. So, no, I won't give you this one. I won't. I won't give you this. So this one, this other one. We we tends to push you to apply all that you have learned so far to at, at least to some level, yes, to some level. And also, um, there's something here I'm seeing that we did not treat in the class. So, I, I, and I want to see if there's anyone who can use the internet very well to achieve it. I've seen something here already that we didn't uh, treat in the class, and I, I and I and I've said it many times that we cannot treat everything in the class. No, it's not possible, except you want to spend the uh, um, two years treating this course. So we can't treat everything. So I, anything that you that that is not. Uh, clear to you. Just use your internet. Learn to use internet. I use internet most most of the time. I'm not shying away from it. There's there's nothing bad in it. Programmers use use internet very well. The internet is our companion. 
right? So uh, this this will be your assignment after the Greek class. But this this other one that that I've shared now, this other one, where is it again? This one, yes. I want to see it next week Tuesday. Next week Tuesday. So let me see. I want to see how you reason about it and how you implement it. I want so analyze and implement. Before I didn't want to implement, but I will implement. Let me see. Let me see what your, your your capacity. Is there any question before we we close for the day? Any other question? <laughs> 